Okay, I did mention for number two that some students would need to use a calculator to do that. Let me just go through that with you. So I'm going to reset. Let me clear the screen first. Clear. I'm using Sage, and you should use a compu uh, some computer algebra system to do this. That could be your cell phone, could be a, 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 a scientific calculator, it could be Sage, could be Mathematica, could be a, a variety of products out there. But let me go through this with you. And I'm going to reset, and uh, that clears out the memory, so to speak. And then I'm going to uh, define a variable x. x is a variable. I'm going to assign f of x a function, and that's going to be x squared. So let's do that, equals x squared. You need to use the multiplication symbol, and then it's going to be times the tangent of x. All right, and certainly you're going to be surprised sometimes that, you're, um, that you may not know how to use a calculator, and you discover that when you start using it. But right now I want to do, you know, I want to do the f of 0. And remember what we said about, we said f of 0, we said it was equal to 0. All right, we got 0. Let me do f of pi, that's pi divided by 8. All right, and I get this over here. And someone says, I don't know what that thing says. So what I want to do is I want to approximate it, all right? And what I'm hoping that this thing is above a number. So let's talk about that when we get there. So I got a number over there. Now someone says, what's that number? That number is 0 0.638. Now the number they want to know is, is that number uh, that they're giving me, which is 0 0.032, is that between 0 and that number over there? And I hope that's pretty obvious to you, that 0 0.32 is between 0 and 0 0.638, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that's using a computer for problem number two. Thank you.